What is good everybody, welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today we're back with another WWE Ultimate Edition review on the Walmart exclusive Ruthless Aggression WWE Ultimate Edition Eddie Guerrero. Yes, this is Walmart exclusive, and I gotta give a huge shout out to my man Muscle Bro Figs on Instagram for the hookup on this figure and the Rey Mysterio Ultimate Edition. Of course, these are a part of the Ruthless Aggression lines that are hitting Walmart stores. We got four Ultimate Editions coming out. We have Eddie, we have Ray, we have the Rob Van Dam, and then we have the Brock Lesnar that I think are going up for pre-order on like August 1st or something like that, or maybe like in the coming week. And I think, I don't know if these are up for pre-order or what the deal is there, man. So they've been hitting the West Coast Walmarts, and I, I don't know what the hell's going on, man. It's hard to keep up with, I'm gonna be honest with you. It seems like there's a million Ultimate Editions hitting at once, and it's just driving me crazy. But the more the merrier, and the more videos, and the more content, and the more action figures. So here we are, man. This is a figure that, <laughs> this one has been destroyed destroyed online but i've also seen some praise i think we have some good stuff going on here but we won't know until we dive into it one thing's for sure looking at it from here they should have put that shirt on that guy in the packaging jesus but we're going to dive into all the details of course but here is the front viewing window got eddie there with his head sculpts the undisputed championship latino heat looking good there ultimate edition of course the red and white packaging eddie guerrero across the top latino heat on the side ruthless aggression there like i described and you have a nice product shot of the figure which looks way better with the shirt on and then you have eddie guerrero here man they do not get the skin tone right man i've seen some customs of eddie guerrero dominic mysterio some other guys with corrected skin tone and they look so damn good maybe that's something that they can address in the future but nonetheless man let's dive into eddie guerrero crack him out of the packaging take a look at him on the rotating base and see what latino heat is all about so here's Eddie Guerrero out of the packaging, man. I, I love a lot of stuff about this figure. I'm going to go ahead and get it out there in the open. I do like a lot of the things going on with this Eddie Guerrero figure, but I, I do have my gripes, of course. I mean, what would an MDT review be without the gripes? But seriously, though, I'm enjoying some stuff about the figure. Is it as egregious as other people have made it known, or is it quite underrated? We will dive into all those things, of course, but let's dive into Eddie Guerrero's accessories with this figure, and then we'll dive into the Eddie Guerrero figure itself. All right, man, so for the Ultimate Edition Eddie Guerrero accessories, man, got some decent stuff here. I feel like, you know, cloth goods, championship, multiple head sculpts, multiple interchangeable hands, pretty much the standard for your Ultimate Editions, and I think this serves us pretty good. I think it gets the job done. You don't have interchangeable jacket arms like you see with certain figures but I still like this I think we have some good stuff going on we're gonna break all the details down of course now starting out first we do have the undisputed or WWE championship here that looks so good one of my favorite championships of all time a lot of people will tell you this is one of their favorite looks ever it just looks so prestigious if everybody that put this on instantly just looked like a big deal you know what I'm saying just a damn good looking championship I kind of low-key wish they would get away from this bright yellow color and kind of give us like a, a old gold sort of color but i like it it's always a beautiful title always had the kids belt version of this when i was a kid the plastic version not the damn replica all right you think money grows on trees around here brad next that we do get our cloth goods now one thing that was crazy and i feel like i don't know if i was the first one to post it but i didn't see anyone talking about this no promo shots or nothing about this figure showed that this shirt has no velcro on it man no velcro on this shirt they're, they're giving us the solo sokoa treatment how freaking sick is that man i'm sure the ultimate edition usos are going to be the same way is this the way of the future is this this is something we've been begging for and maybe we finally have it here but we have the sleeveless latino heat shirt here with the eddie guerrero graphic it's not the og graphic really wish it would have been the og graphic with like the button down and he's looking off and he's got the title over his shoulder but the back graphic does seem to be accurate it's got the addicted to heat there eddie guerrero very sweet i could not believe when i saw that this figure had no velcro on it i can't believe that wasn't a big deal or push anywhere i didn't see that posted nobody talked about it and now here it is now one thing i do want to mention right now about the shirt is with the figure's arms on the torso, it's going to be hell to get the shirt on and you may not even be able to do it. So one thing that I found is if you're going to put it on this egregious looking torso to hide it, you want to take the arms off and then pull this over. Take the head and arms off. I swear this is the only way you're getting this on here. Pull the arms off, pull the head off, and then slide it down and it's still a damn tight fit. But you pull this down, wrapping it all around there, and then there you have the shirt on there and then then you would come in and plug in your arms because you know the the ultimate editions are the plug and play style which is beautiful i can't wait to the day that we see removable torsos and, and legs man 
I think that's going to be the next step, but that is how you get that on there. That is the best way to do that. I haven't, I, I don't know if anybody else has discovered that, but I'm sure, I mean, I'm sure you have. You're not jackasses out here, Brad. What do you think? You, you think you're just some professor of knowledge over here, Brad? You don't have, you, you think people are capable of learning something other than through the review? Do you? Nonetheless, the shirt looks really, really good on here, man. Makes the figure look so much better, too. Jesus. I mean, I mean, this, this figure's worth the pickup just for the freaking shirt alone. Now, outside of that, we do get some head sculpts here. What would an Ultimate Edition be without the head sculpts? You have that smirky smile from Eddie Guerrero. Skin tone's not accurate. We know that. It's not accurate. They they need to lighten him up there. They said they're going to address it in the future, but this is still a damn looking good head sculpt. I don't think this is the same head sculpt from the Legend. It looks like the hair is different. And then we also have the, the smirk face, which I also like. These are very similar. And then you have the third one, which I think is my personal favorite, is the yelling one. He's kind of like smile yelling. I really, I kind of wish we had a pissed off one, but you know, they're, they're, they could do that later. You know, it's not like something that must be right now. You know, I think we can serve this. I think this Eddie Guerrero looks better. Even though this one probably has the least amount of likeness, I still like this one the most as far as expressions go. But I think all of them capture Eddie Guerrero pretty good. I'm enjoying this, man. Damn, love Eddie Guerrero. And then outside of that, you do get your mic holding hands with white pegs, which is nice. It looks like they're finally starting to listen across the board. You have an interchangeable fists, which are very similar. We've seen these a million trillion times, and we'll continue to get them, damn it. And then we do have our Randy Orton-style entrance hands, which I didn't, I didn't really think that these would go. I, I kind of expected us to get the Ricochet Kawhi Leonard hands, but I think these work. I like them. I think they get it done. Good sculpt, good paint work. And I, I like them. I'm glad we got this option. So checking out Eddie Guerrero at the top of the head sculpt. Again, I like this head sculpt, man. You got the smirk in there. I think it gets, you know, checks all the boxes for you. I think it looks nice. Again, I think some dry brushing blonde in there somewhere would have done, you know, some wonders. There. I guess you could add it yourself, but shouldn't have to, man. Let's get into where this figure kind of falls short, where a lot of people have issues. And it is with this gigantic torso here which I'm pretty sure they used on Triple H, Ultimate Warrior, Batista, John Cena, I think, even has his torso. And Eddie Guerrero did have some pretty big, like, upper arms and shoulders and chest. But when you look at the proportions on this figure, man, it just doesn't do it justice. It looks kind of ridiculous, and it can be ugly and horrendous at certain angles, but once you put that shirt on, I mean, I kind of I feel like all your worries kind of go away there, which we'll get into, but you do have his tattoo down here, white wrist tape. This is the same attire, his No Way Out attire, from when he won the WWE Championship from Brock Lesnar. It looks good here with the red and the bright green and the blacks all looking nice in here, Latino. You got nice designs going down the side there, which was perfect for the time. And then you do have these, like, light tan boots, you know. And I'm pretty sure they're supposed to be, like, gold, but... They went with like this light tan, which is very interesting because his Legends figure and his Elite 95 figure both had like a goldish tint to them. So I don't know why they changed that or if this is more accurate or what the case is. And you guys remember his Legends figure had that like orangish color. So this is the third time we've seen these boots and the third time we've seen them change color. But I always loved his boots. I thought they were very fire, pun intended. Oh, <laughs> I really dig it. Now, one thing about this figure is, uh, yeah, look at the proportions right here, man. Just stand back here. Just look how tiny his lower half is compared to his upper half there. Yeah, I mean, it's... <laughs> what do you want there, you know? Definitely need to switch out this torso, change it up a bit. I think the arms and the torso are too big. Even though, I mean, look at this man. He was big, but he wasn't like this. You know what I mean? He wasn't like that. You know what I'm saying? He wasn't like this. He was like that. You know what I mean? But anyways, let's get into some Eddie Guerrero figure comparisons, and then I'm going to look at a really badass fix-up type deal. So for your Eddie Guerrero figure comparisons, you do have the Ruthless Aggression Ultimate in the middle. You have the Legends Target Exclusive. The Legends Target Exclusive with the Elite 95 head sculpt on it. The Elite 95 with the Legends exclusive head on it. And then we have the Hall of Fame 4-pack LWO Eddie Guerrero Elite over there. And I love all these figures in their own right. I used to have the Hall of Fame Target exclusive, which was which was this head sculpt on pretty much this body with a black and gold gear. Turn that into a custom. Hate to see it. And I think that's all of our Eddie Guerreros. I also have this pink custom over here, which is very sick. Leave a like on the video for the pink Eddie Guerrero. Look at that right there. Kind of chipped it, but well deserving of a like. Look at that Eddie Guerrero, dude. Jesus. But yeah, man... I I think that these torsos worked much better. I think if you had... Tra it, what's funny is Macho Man Randy Savage's elites used this exact torso, and then when they converted him into an ultimate, he had a less ripped up, more accurate, more realistic torso for his ultimate. And then for Eddie Guerrero, they just threw that out the window. But I was correct. The smiley head that comes with this Eddie Guerrero is different than this one back here. 
The Legends exclusive, the hair is different. It's sculpted differently, which is interesting. But yeah, man, I think what we're running into is this figure right here is a perfect replacement, or if you guys always missed out on the Legends figure, that's another figure I'm missing. I think I've owned that one before too as well, but if you guys missed out on that figure, this is the one to buy. This is the one to replace that with, and I think that's the way to go probably. And then you guys can see the boots here in the different boot color. Got the like bright shiny gold compared to the like light tannish color. But I have one more thing that I want to do. Oh yeah, baby, now we're talking. I got the Bratz Mobile, the convertible Bratz figure, not figure, dumb A, the car. It's the Bratz convertible car with this Eddie Guerrero. And here it is with the shirt on, man. Look how damn better this looks. I don't know if you can compete with this right here, man. I mean, yes, he's still big up top, but the shirt hides it certainly. Makes him look slimmer, makes, makes him look way more lean. But give this man the championship and then let's put him in the car and see what we got going on right here. Look at that right there. He put him in the damn lowrider right there, man. Look at that right there dude. How are you going to beat that? Eddie Guerrero in the convertible? This is exactly how you display this figure. This is exactly how you display it. I mean, is it completely accurate in all all measures? Absolutely not, but I think you could have a lot of fun with your displays and stuff like that. You have him up here with the championship, maybe chilling on the hood, maybe, you know, driving the car. Yeah, this is exactly how you do this right here, and this this figure scales really well with the car. It's I mean, this is like 1 12th scale, I'm pretty sure, so there is our Eddie Guerrero with our Bratz convertible, and I'll have it no other ways man this is how you gotta you gotta pose this figure around you gotta put him with the convertible and get the job done so yeah loving that i dude i wish my dad could do it because he's a really skilled painter and he paints cars for a living and he's been good at it my entire life but i need to get him to like to like tape off this car and then airbrush and paint on flames onto this car would be so sick but that is it for your eddie guerrero figure comparison but i think that pretty much wraps up our walmart exclusive wwe ultimate edition eddie guerrero figure man keeping it real as always man this this figure right here is catching a lot of flack, and it should on the torso. Torso, it's just way too big, man. It's way too ripped up and jacked. It looks very odd. I've seen multiple customs look very good. I think they use like a Macho Man torso or something like that. Eddie Guerrero was jacked, no doubt about it, but it wasn't like this. You know what I'm saying? It just looks a bit... I don't, I don't even know how to describe it. I mean, you guys look at it. With the shirt on, it looks beautiful. I mean, skin tone aside, it's not the accurate skin tone. And I think some blonde tips on the hair, like some dry brushing over the hair would have been cool. But I still think this is a bomb figure. I like the Ultimate Edition Eddie Guerrero. He was on my wish list for a very long time. So getting us an Eddie Guerrero. I know we had the Legends figure before this. But getting another Eddie with a WWE Championship men on card, Latino heat shirt. Even though it's not the OG design, which would have been really sweet. It's still very cool nonetheless it looks fantastic just chilling there i mean look at this figure man look how damn good this looks with the shirt on there i'm not gonna take the shirt off i'm just not unless i completely customize this guy which i would have to send off i'm not big on like i haven't really perfected the cracking ultimate edition torsos and getting them out of there and putting on a new guy i'm working on it you know we'll, we'll get there eventually i'm sure but i really do like this figure if you guys see this figure at retail i'd grab it i think it's worth it the shirt alone with the no velcro the head sculpts i think they are gonna address that skin tone issue in the future which you could obviously just torso crack this in the future put the accurate skin tone on there i mean it's probably going to be a wcw eddie guerrero so you know you'd have to fix up a head sculpt or something but i'm sure that this isn't the last eddie guerrero figure we're going to get right we're going to get other elites we're going to get other eddie guerreros and they should update the skin tone across the board and then you can update this figure and maybe who knows i, I mean it would be a while probably but i really do enjoy this figure i'm actually quite shocked at how much i love it i mean i've always loved eddie guerrero who doesn't love Eddie Guerrero, right? But I think they did a really, really good job on this piece. Even if it's a gear we've seen before, I just love the accessories and the head sculpts. I think a pissed off head sculpt would have been cool, but I do enjoy all the different things you got going here, man, and I would recommend it. So check out your Walmarts again. I think you can check the website. If you enter your zip code, it'll tell you if it's available near you at a store. So maybe you guys want to take that route, but I like this Eddie Guerrero a lot. I'm actually quite shocked again how much I like it, and I'm sure who knows, he may find himself on a top 10 countdown at the end of the year. I don't know. I, I'm I'm not going to get that too far ahead of myself, but with the shirt on, man, you're not going to have any gripes. Besides the skin tone, okay? I, I get it. I get it. I'm right there with you. But at the end of the day, it's a damn good Ultimate Edition Eddie Guerrero, as long as that shirt's on there. But that is going to wrap this video up, man. Hope you guys did enjoy. I'd love to know your thoughts on the Eddie Guerrero down in the comment section below. Also, huge shout out to our patrons of the MDT YouTube channel. Love those guys so much. Appreciate their support. If you guys are interested in doing that as well, go over to the Patreon link. Link in the description below. But that is going to wrap up our Ultimate Edition Eddie Guerrero review, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. Leave me your thoughts down below. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at MyDamnToys. I'll see you guys next time. Have a blessed one, and I'll see you later. We'll never be